Welcome to overcast and somewhat rainy Guadalajara in Mexico. And this is our friend Helder. And Helder, can you tell us where we're going today? We're going to the, well, it's called Las Piedras Bola, that it translates like the uh, rock balls or stone balls, but uh, it's like stone spheres, like uh, the ones in Bosnia and uh, Costa Rica. So let's hope that it's not raining for catch a nice view. Okay. So, still raining, and we're on a different highway now. Now we're heading towards Ahualulco, which of course is a native word, possibly Aztec, and this is the direction we're going towards where these stone spheres are located, and as, An, as um, Helder said, of course they're the famous ones that are in Costa Rica, which appear to be uh, human-made, and then other suspect ones. There are some in New Zealand at a location called Silverdale, uh, many of which were destroyed when they were building a highway. And then possibly other ones that have been found in the area of the Bosnian pyramids. So you'd have to actually ask a geologist whether those ones are natural formations or not. Since I haven't been there, I can't tell. But this will be a, this an interesting thing to see since I'm in Guadalajara. So here's the sign for Huachimontones, which is a circular pyramid, which um, we're hoping to be able to see possibly, but uh, according to the official record, it's being protected or guarded by the military right now, so it could very well be off limits, but hopefully we're going to get some more information uh, as regards it and uh, see if it's possible to uh, have a visit at least from a distance, but that's not on the cards for today. So this is where we are. And this is one of the stone balls. So we're gonna walk up to it. Whether it's a natural formation, like an accretion, or artificial, is unknown. That would be up to a geologist like Susan Moore to um, comment about that. It's not perfectly round, but it is um, relatively round. And next we're going to go to the actual location uh, where it was uh, taken from. So thankfully the rain has stopped and now we're heading up into the mountains where the stone quarry is or the depository of all of these stones. going to see some which are exposed and weathered and yet I've also been told that we're going to see some that are still buried and um, are supposedly in incredible shape and that'll give us an indication again I think of whether these are 
artificial constructions or natural ones. So it's going to be very intriguing. And stay tuned as we approach the location. Thanks again to Helder for taking me on this guided tour. why nobody comes here <laughs> or would possibly have a, a way of even getting here this is quite uh, quite the trip so this was the caretakers house but with the change of government he was let go and so was the building. And now it's on foot. So Helder, if you would like to go ahead. The official sign and name of the place. So here is part, you can see the exposed ones here. So some are broken. Others heavily eroded. And these ones, more or less intact. Yeah, they're very much a curiosity.
So, very intriguing. What you're looking at is Volcan Tequila, or the Tequila Volcano. And the standard story about the stone spheres we saw is that at some time in the distant past, the volcano erupted and shot um, basically magma out, and then the, the spheres formed in the air <clears throat> almost perfectly round and then landed in the location which is now miles behind us. So once again the standard academic story makes no sense whatsoever because A having magma form into almost perfect balls would be very uncommon and then the fact <clears throat> that they all traveled in the same direction and landed all in the same location is highly suspicious. You'd think they would shoot out in many different directions, but according to um, what we know, the location that you just saw back there is the only location where all of these stone balls were found. And there are many, according to Helder, which are still buried underground. We saw some that were partially exposed, some that were broken in half, some that were eroded beyond all recognition, and uh, so it's a very anomalous location and I have a very difficult time believing that they were created simply by nature. If they were located on a beach or something, like those, some of those which are in New Zealand, then possibly water erosion could have created somewhat spherical shapes. So this is a very intriguing site located just outside of, relatively outside of Guadalajara, and I hope you enjoyed the video.